Seven Best Places to Live in Vermont. Vermont is definitely one of the best states for families to live in the country. It's also touted to be among the safest states, according to recent data published by the FBI in 2021. These are the reasons why you should consider making a move to this place. There are lots of things that you can enjoy in Vermont. It has nice weather all year long and offers picturesque scenery, such as the marvelous landscapes in Montpelier and the extended summer attractions provided by Lake Champlain. The economy in this state is doing great as well. It offers a strong job market and has shown resilience against the financial downfalls brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. As of now, it is still among the states with the lowest unemployment rates. You and your family can certainly afford the living standards that you want to establish while you're residing in any of the towns and cities in Vermont. Hello everyone, this is Anne from Pack and Go, and in this video, I've listed all the best places to live in Vermont. If you want to plan to move here, you should watch this video first. In this way, you can get an address that suits your needs and preferences. So let's get started. Jericho. One of the first places that you should consider in Vermont for the big move is Jericho. It's a town known for its charming and quaint atmosphere, and it has an established neighborhood with a strong community bond. It's not a difficult thing to do, as its population is just around 5,000 people. Since it has a rural feel, residents of Jericho enjoy peaceful days all year round. It has low crime rates, which make it an ideal place to start a family. The median home value of this place is 320,000 as of 2021, so it is higher than the national average. But given the fact that its median household income is $100,000, it's proof that Jericho has a thriving economy. Job markets are widely accessible within the area and surrounding towns. Hence, many young professionals are currently dwelling here. Once you're in Jericho, you'll be able to experience some of its delectable scenery, such as the Mills Riverside Park. It also has other outdoor recreational facilities, such as the Old Red Mill and Museum, Eden Dog Sledding, and the You Make Outdoor Outfitters. Essex. One of the most distant places in Vermont is Essex. It is situated in the proximity of Lake Champlain and the Green Mountains. So it's a given that this place has a charming appeal for nature lovers. Despite this, you should know that Essex is not exactly as quiet and laid back as other suburban towns on this list. In fact, it has an urban ambiance, which is definitely a good thing for young professionals and millennials. Many economic activities are taking place in this town and job markets aren't that scarce here. The median home value in Essex is $301,000 and its average rental rate is $1,200 per month. Hence, it's advantageous on your part if you just buy a home here instead of renting. In fact, at least 70% of the residents have their own houses. Furthermore, Essex is known for its low poverty incidence. Average households here are typically earning $84,000, which enables them to afford their needs and wants. Educational facilities in Essex are definitely top notch, making it a good place to raise children. There are a lot of things that you can do in Essex. Recreational opportunities are widely available in Mills Riverside Park, Essex Family Fun and Entertainment Center, and Maple Street Park and Pool. Shelburne. If it's your first time visiting Shelburne, you'll certainly be taken aback by its quaint and picturesque surroundings. It is a highly recommended place to live, especially if you want to raise children. After all, its clean and welcoming environment will make you forget about the pressures brought upon by metropolitans and urban jungles. Many retirees also live here in Shelburne, given that its atmosphere is not too straining for them. Moreover, crime rates are almost non-existent making it a great relocation for anyone who wants to be on the safe side. Over the years, Shelburne gradually became an affordable place to live in Vermont. In the past, its property values had reached $450,000, but as of 2021, it has lowered to $380,000. As a result, at least 75% of its residents have their own homes already. Such desirable pricing is definitely a deal sealer, given that Shelburne is a premium community. Moreover, you'll be delighted by the fact that its median household income is $96,000. Your time in Shelburne is never boring. During your free time, you can head to the Shelburne Farms and Shelburne Vineyard. It's also got its own teddy bear factory. Montpelier. Montpelier is not a surprising pick here. As the capital of Vermont, it's quite easy to fall in love with it. There are multiple reasons why moving here is a great idea. 
While other suburbs offer better provisions for housing and quality of life, Mount Pelier is still an established town with a strong community and a resilient economy. It is a small town tainted with sophistication, as can be seen in its well-preserved traditional buildings. It embodies the unadulterated cultural and historical richness that Vermont has. Fancy restaurants and bars are also available throughout the place for daily recreation with your family and friends. Since it's a home for the state government, Montpelier has attracted businesses to set their bases here. Many insurance companies and educational institutions are operating here. A popular entity here is the New England Culinary Institute. Furthermore, Montpelier also stands out when it comes to health care amenities. Residents have quick and hassle-free access to the medical services that they need. Since buying a home here isn't a burden, you can guarantee that you can move here without any problems. Local attractions in the area include the Vermont State House, Vermont Historical Society Museum, and Hubbard Park. Williston Williston is just near South Burlington, making these two towns closely tied neighbors in Chittenden County. Similar to the opinion of the people who have been here, I can also say that Williston is a must-live place for anyone who wants to experience the extravagant life that Vermont has to offer. Keep in mind that Williston residents are enjoying its sparse suburban atmosphere. Mornings and evenings here are peaceful and pleasurable. You'll not also get agitated by huge crowds as this area is home to just 9,000 people. 80% of the locals are proud to have their own homes, even though its median home value price is as high as $351,000. If you can't afford it yet, then you can settle on property rentals, which should incur you at least 1,000 bucks a month. Fortunately, Williston offers one of the highest median household incomes in the entire state. Average families here earn at least $94,000 annually, so that's a thing that you should consider. Its economy is still growing, so you can expect more from this suburb. However, what many people love about Williston is its a public school system. Most of the educational institutions here are acknowledged throughout the state because of their consistent performance. When it comes to majestic sightings, Williston is a treat for you. The Catamount Outdoor Family Center and Lake Iroquois are just within its vicinity. South Burlington. It's not a secret that Burlington is the largest city throughout Vermont. However, one can never contend with the fact that South Burlington is way better when it comes to living standards. This place gives you uninhibited views of the Adirondacks and Lake Champlain, especially if you're at the vantage point of Red Rocks Park. However, keep in mind that South Burlington is an expensive city to dwell in. The median home value in this place is $307,000 while the rental rate is $1,400. The cost of living in this area is pretty high, so you might need to have extra cash if you decide to move here. Fortunately, this place isn't lacking when it comes to job opportunities. Employment markets are pretty steadfast, as proven by the fact that it ranks second lowest in Vermont when it comes to poverty levels. I also have to emphasize that residents in this area are enjoying short commuting time. There's minimal vehicular traffic, so you can always expect a convenient traveling experience here. Good public schools are also serving South Burlington, so it's not a surprise a lot of families here have well-educated backgrounds. Recreation and entertainment are things that you can enjoy while in South Burlington. It is the home of the Island Line Rail Trail, Fleming Museum of Art, and Burlington City Arts. Norwich. Many would argue that Norwich is the best place to live in Vermont. And if you're going to ask me, I won't contest that. After all, this place is considered a darling town throughout the state. It's beautiful, quaint, and offers a peaceful ambiance that Vermont is known for. This tiny town within Windsor County has a population of around 3,300 people only. Its entire community is bonded, which is a reason why there is minimal crime incidence here. Despite being rural in its atmosphere, there's still a lot of young professionals here. Most of its locals are highly educated as well, with 54% having a master's degree or higher. This town is also known for its provision of top caliber public schools. Its medium home value is $454,000, which is twice higher than the country average. Surprisingly, most of its residents still have their respective homes. Perhaps the high median household income has them afford the expensive property cost in Norwich. Moreover, Norwich, has several attractions that you should see, such as the Mount Shire Museum of Science, 
Hood Museum of Art in Guile Mountain. Thank you for watching this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, just hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.